Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will explore how to migrate your emails from Microsoft 365 to Zoho Workplace. I will show you real step-by-step -step migration process after purchasing the Zoho Standard Workplace Plan. Before that, let me tell you the my reason to migrate to the Zoho Workplace. It is cost-effective alternative to Office 365, which provide you the robust feature with security. It is privacy-focused and ad-free. It has a simpler, clean and user-friendly interface. And if I am getting the similar benefit in Zoho at the low price without compromising the security and privacy, then why not to migrate to Zoho? So let's go to the browser and see how we can migrate our Office 365 email to the Zoho Workplace. So right now we are on our browser and if we search for the Zoho mail, you will see this link and I open this link. Here we have pricing. So this is the best value here. And these are the feature you will get with this plan. Like you will get meeting, vault, directory. You can do a conference with the maximum number of 10 users with this plan. So let's click on access workplace. And here is the standard plan that comes with the 99 rupees per month if billed annually. And if you want to pay monthly, it is 129. So it is better to choose yearly. So I will buy this plan. If you want to check the feature, there are plenty of features you will get with this plan. You can share your screen and do the video conferencing with the 10 participants. And also you get the recording for the same. So I will buy this. Here it says to add the existing domain or buy a new domain. In our previous video, I have shown you how you can configure the free email, but this is the paid one and we will migrate our Office 365 email to the Zoho. So I will click on add my existing domain and here I will type the name as techiejack.com and select the industry IT related service and click on add now. So it says congratulations your domain techiejack.com has been added successfully and if you see here right now I am using this info at techiejack.com with the office 365 and here we have all the emails and our plan is to migrate these emails to the Zoho email. So let me minimize it and proceed with the payment. Here I will choose the one user. You can say it is 99 rupees per month and for 12 months it goes like 1188 rupees. I will click on proceed. So the tax has been added to this like 213 rupees and it becomes like approx 1402 rupees. Let me fill my details and proceed with the payment. And now it says thank you for choosing Zoho Workplace. Also it gave you the credit 142 rupees from this subscription and you can use this credit on your next purchase. So let me click on visit Zoho Workplace. So our payment is completed. So let's proceed to the domain verification. So the same thing here, it says uh, verify the text record. I will copy the text record and I will add it to my domain. So I added the text record to my DNS zone of my domain that is techiejack.com. Now I will click on save. So our text record has been added. Let me verify this and it's verified. So this is the name by default it picked up. And this user will be the super admin. I just sign up for the one email. So I will type the name as info because I want this address to be used for my domain. And I will say create. So this user has been created. Let me click on proceed the setup group. Proceed with the DNS mapping. So right now we want to migrate our email from Office 365 to Zoho. So right now I am not adding this record. I will do that later. Proceed to the email migration and it says start data migration. I will name the migration as MS365 to Zoho and here we have to select the Microsoft 365 here and click on sign in. So here I have this account. So I will click on this and it says permission required. So we have to allow the permission. So these are the permission it is asking like pop, IMAP, exchange web services and these are the all permission I will say accept. So it is set now. Now it says select application to migrate data from. You need to check on mails, contact and calendar. All folder is fine. And to exclude the folder you want to exclude here, already pick the spam folder to exclude. So it is fine. And emails to migrate, we need all emails to be migrated. Let's click on add. And it says maximum connection limit, that is 5. Okay. Pause migration when storage reaches up to 
95% I will say and I will say create it. So we have created it and here users we have to select the source email enter the Microsoft 365 username or email address. I will say info at techiejack.com and the destination address is also the same and I will click on add. So the email has been added and let me click on start migration. Once started the data will start to migrate and you cannot add or delete user thereafter. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. So I will click on start. Now it started the migration process and you can see the status is in progress. While it is in progress, if we log into the Zoho mail, you can see we are synchronizing the email and we are receiving the email in our Zoho email. And right now we have 593 emails there. And if you see the latest email here, Zoho store notification, your subscription with Zoho. And same we have here, user notification, welcome to the Zoho, Zoho store, payment. Here we have same payment successful, Zoho store notification. So we are synchronizing our email from Office 365 to Zoho mail. Let's wait for a while until it get completed. And make sure that we haven't changed our MX record right now because once the migration is completed, after that we will change our MX record and we'll point it to the Zoho instead of Office 365. And if you see our Zoho workplace, you can see all the apps are there in the one place that you get the mail, click, work drive, writer, sheet, show, meeting, vault and ZSS. So once you are logged in with the workplace, everything is there for you. Now you can see the status is completed here and if we check we have received all the emails in the Zoho email so we can proceed now. So let's click on proceed to go mobile and here it gives you the configuration for the IMAP and POP. If you want to configure the email with the mobile you can use this configuration and set up your IMAP email with Zoho. Let me now proceed with the setup completion and it says your setup is complete. Go to admin console. So here I have a one domain, organization is one and the total license I have one. If we go to the domain, here it says yet to point the MX record. And here you have a user. If you want to add the more user, you can buy the license and you can add more user here. And if you have multiple user and you want to do the data migration for other user, you can create the migration batch as we did and you can migrate your multiple emails together. Here we have the mail settings, email routing and restrictions. Here we have a security and compliance and here we have the other app settings. And now I will point my other records to the Zoho. So here are the record for MX record, SPF record, DKIM, DMARC and BIMI. So let me quickly set this record and verify it. So I added my MX record and I verified it. So you can see the your domain MX records are pointing to Zoho now. And if we check the SPF record, you can see that your SPF record has been pointed successfully. So the DKIM selector is successfully verified. So my MX record, SPF record, DKIM records are propagated and set to the Zoho perfectly. Let's now try to send an email to the Gmail and I will compose the email and I will send it. It says that mail has been sent to the Gmail. Let me verify it. Here we have that email. And if we see the original, you can say SPF, DKIM, DMARC all are passed. And we successfully received the email in our inbox. If I reply it here, received and click on send. Let's see if we receive that email in our Zoho or not. Let me go to the inbox. We received that email. So we are successfully able to send and receive the email via the Zoho mail. So our email has been successfully migrated from Microsoft 365 to Zoho mail. By using the same method, you can also migrate your Microsoft 365 email to the Zoho and use the robust feature of the Zoho in low pricing. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.